In this session we shall see the analysis and design of RCCT girder bridge for superstructure, substructures, foundations, bearings, and drawings. The Astra Pro main screen is opened, select menu item file, then select working folder. As the selection box comes user may use the button browse and select folder work on the desktop. Next, select menu item file, then select bridge design and further select reinforced cement concrete, RCC, T girder bridge, then limit state method, then IRC slash IS standard. The window opens with various data for girder deck superstructure for span of length 19.582 meters and other data for analyses are given as default, crash barrier is considered on left side only. The various tab pages of the window for various details are for individual tasks related to the analyses of the grillage model of the bridge superstructure. The design job number is 1. Click on button New Design, message comes as the project is created as design job number is 1. In the page for section properties there are three tab pages for various dimensions of the long main girder inputs and cross girder inputs at various sections are displayed along with calculated values of member properties are displayed in blue color in tab page summary of member properties. In the page for moving live load data the various combinations of IRC class A, 70R wheel loading etc. are applied lane wise on the bridge deck on the left panel. And the various load types are defined on the right panel, referring to IRC 6. By clicking on button view moving load the window opens for animated. View of the vehicle axles moving over the bridge deck, after viewing the window may be closed. In the page analysis normal process the end supports and material properties for girders are mentioned. Click on button create analysis data. Open tab page process. In page process all the 8 analyses input data are created. By select an analysis for a particular dead load or moving load applied lane wise, the user can see the related analysis input data file and the, the live load as moving load types in file lll.txt close these files. Next click on button process analysis, the list of all 8 processes are displayed. Click on button process to start the process. As the process starts the dialog box comes to verify the analyses data, click on button proceed. As the data check is over and load cases are obtained the message comes, click on button OK. Next the dialog box comes to process the analysis input data, click on button proceed. The analysis will be done and the message comes informing that the report is created, click on button OK. This completes the first process of total 8 processes. The other processes in the list are all processed one by one and finally the reports of all the eight analyses are read to get the maximum member forces at various points of the bridge superstructure and maximum reaction forces at the supports required for the design of bearings, abutments, and piers.
by selecting a particular analysis user may open the respective analysis report. Hence the basic main analysis is over. Next we select the stage analysis where analysis for all 8 processes will be done for 5 stages, in each stage the deflections of each node of the model are added to the last CO ordinates of the structure and then the loads are applied and the structure is reanalyzed to get the forces as result of nonlinear analysis. The page for stage 1 is opened, click on button to create analyses data for all the 8 processes. Like basic analysis all the 8 analyses are done one after another and finally the maximum member forces and support reactions are obtained for the stage 1. Next, the page for stage 2 is opened, click on button to create analyses data for all the 8 processes. Like basic analysis all the 8 analyses are done one after another and finally the maximum member forces and support reactions are obtained for the stage 2. Next, the page for stage 3 is opened, click on button to create analyses data for all the 8 processes. Like basic analysis all the 8 analyses are done one after another and finally the maximum member forces and support reactions are obtained for the stage 3. Next, the page for stage 4 is opened, click on button to create analyses data for all the 8 processes. Like basic analysis all the 8 analyses are done one after another and finally the maximum member forces and support reactions are obtained for the stage 4. Next, the page for stage 5 is opened, click on button to create analyses data for all the 8 processes. Like basic analysis all the 8 analyses are done one after another and finally the maximum member forces and support reactions are obtained for the stage 5. Next, the page for design forces is opened, select a particular analysis for its maximum member forces and support reactions, which shall be used for the design of structural members of the bridge superstructure, substructure, bearings, and foundations.
Next, the page for long main girders is opened for the Excel worksheet design, as the click on button for process for new design and the Excel worksheet opens with various tabs at the bottom of the worksheet may be opened to check various steps of the design. Next, the page for cross girders is opened for the Excel worksheet design, as the click on button for process for new design and the Excel worksheet opens with the design. Next, the page for Dex Lab is opened, this tab page contains three further tab pages for Dex Lab input data, live load input data, analysis process, and design. In first two tab pages the default data is given which user may change as desired. Next, open the tab page for analysis process and design, click on button create DEX lab analysis input data, and the analysis input data files are created for seven different analysis. Click on button process DEX lab analysis. As the process starts the dialog box comes for data validation, click on button proceed. As the process is over message comes click on OK, next the dialog box comes for analysis, click on button proceed, as all the seven analyses are over the message comes by informing about the report file, click on OK. As the processes are over the result is displayed in the table. As the analysis for the DEX lab is done. The next step is to design the DEX lab for structural details and it is done by transverse analysis in effective width method. Click on button process for new design and save as user's design with user's given file name. This opens the Excel worksheet with tabs at the bottom for input which is all read taken from analysis input, live load, design, and cantilever. After viewing the design the Excel file may be saved and closed. The original file may be opened by using the button open design report and file saved with user's given file name may be opened by using button open user's design by selecting user's given file name. Next, the page for RCC abutment is opened. The two options available options are for abutment with open foundation and abutment with pile foundation. We select the option abutment with pile foundation. Click on button process for new design. The Excel worksheet opens, there are various tab pages at the bottom for various design aspects and may be checked and finally closed by the user.
Next, the page for RCC Peer is opened. The two options available options are for Peer with Open Foundation and Peer with Pile Foundation. We select the option Peer with Pile Foundation. Click on Button Process for New Design. The Excel worksheet opens. There are various tab pages at the bottom for various design aspects and may be checked and finally closed by the user. Next, the page for bearing is opened, there are design options for various pot PTFE bearings and elastomeric bearing. User may select by axial pot PTFE bearing for the RCC T-girder bridge. Next, the page for drawing is opened, upon selecting the desired button the set of sample drawings are opened in Astra Viewer CAD for necessary editing and saving either as DWG or DXF file. Upon finishing user may close the CAD window. This is the end of the session for the design of RCC T-Girder Bridge. You may write to techsoftinfra at gmail.com or techsoft at consultant.com. Thank you.